Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video, the series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series we just discuss anything to do with streetwear fashion. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering everything to do with the upcoming collaborative release between Palace Skateboards and New Balance as they're collaborating for week two of Alice's Summer 2023 collection. Now, in all honesty, I thought this video was going to be a sneaker talk video instead of a streetwear talk video because I thought all that was releasing in this collaboration was uh, a couple collaborative made in the UK 991s. But through looking into it further, there's actually some apparel as well. And from what I've seen, which I haven't seen at all, from what I've seen, actually looks pretty good like outside of this collaboration um it would just work very well for you know a, a very good streetwear wardrobe i feel like it's quite versatile from what i've seen but maybe we'll go into it and the pieces that i've seen are the best pieces and the rest of it is trash i honestly don't know that's what we're going to be finding out today <laughs> we're going to be covering the release details for this collaboration the sneakers releasing in it this clothing that's releasing in it I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it and the collab as a whole. And how we're gonna cover all that is by using a Hype Beast article. We'll head on over to that collaboration now and we'll start covering the release details for this upcoming collab. Okay, here we are at the, <laughs> the Hype Beast article. And I gotta say, Alice chose a uh, very interesting little editorial here for this collaboration. Uh, I think there's a video as well posted on their Instagram for it. Um, <laughs> we will go through the editorial of just these four images, but after we cover the release details, we'll primarily go through the 31 images here to give us like a whole idea of the collab. But uh, yeah, it's very strange. Anyway, if you want to read this whole article as it has a lot of information about model, uh, New Balance as, you know, a brand, Palace as a brand. If you want to go through all of that, it's quite a big article, but you can read it. Uh, it'll be in the description section below. We'll just scroll right down to the bottom to the release details here. So take a look at the closer, take a closer look at the complete New Balance Palace collaboration in the gallery above. The range alongside an inline lookbook selection. Uh, this will drop in store and online on May 12th, which if it's Wednesday the 10th today, the 12th will be the Friday, 11 a.m. EDT time. Uh, I'm assuming that'll be in the United States, uh, Eastern Daylight Time, I assume. Um, it'll be dropping 11 a.m. GMT time in the UK. Uh, it'll be dropping a day later on the Saturday in Japan, May 13th, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time, uh, in store and online. And it'll be dropping on, I, I was right, it is palace underscore skateboards on the WeChat store for China, 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time on the Saturday the 13th as well. So for most of the world, the Friday as always, and then for Japan and China, the Saturday as always, 11 a.m. in their respective time zones. Um, will there be a release on New Balance's website? Uh, you'll have to check because most sneaker stores are region locked these days You'll really have to check the New Balance store and see if it drops in your region on their online store It doesn't hint that it is on this Hypebeast article, but uh, yeah, we it, it could be now uh, on top of that This is a collaboration set to release in week two, but it is not the only thing releasing in week two this week. So stay tuned for a drop list video, which will be coming shortly, where we will be covering everything releasing in week two. So get ready for that. Now that we have covered all the release details for this collab though, um, I guess we'll just have like, there's four images here. We'll have a look through this editorial and then we'll have a look at uh, the more important 31 images here and see what we're gonna be getting in this week two collab. So, uh, <laughs> As we can see here, we've got a very hairy caveman um, eating, eating the 991s. It's a, uh, it's, it's an interesting, uh, interesting little editorial lookbook they've done there. We can see some co-branding on the tongue. It's a very nice color palette though on this 991. I got to say, it's very nice. We've got them all praying to one of the uh, palace skaters, rocking what looks to be the collaborative clothing as well as the shoes. 
The other colorway there looks quite nice and the clothing, I like the color blocking, the color choices, that's quite nice as well. We've got, there we go, co-branding there, New Balance Palace, there's the showcasing of the shoes. And last but not least, a huge rock New Balance behind the other colorway of the 991s. That's it for those images there. Uh, look, it, it only showcases really the sneakers and one set of the clothing that we're getting, but so far from what I'm seeing from these four images, I'm liking what we're getting in this week two collab though. It's very, very nice. Uh, we'll now move on to the 31 images of the individual pieces and we'll have a look at how it all looks by itself. Here it is not being eaten by a caveman and it already looks so much better. <laughs> uh, we can see though, now that we've got this close up image, that we've got a lot of different materials being used here though. Across this uh, side of the shoe, we've got leather being used for the brown and I guess white, tan leather along the sides here. We can see what looks to be some kind of um, polyester nylon material being used, the blue underneath there. I think that if that is like a high quality material, it definitely will add some waterproof to the shoe as well. Although the 991s are usually primarily leather, so that's pretty waterproof in general, but I'm sure this will probably add to it in some way. Uh, it's kept very simple, no co-branding on the sides or anything like that. The color palette of it is really nice. Um, I like the blue uh, like airbag at the back there, the big bubble. Um, here's a showcase of the inner side, basically the same. There's a, show, there's a side profile, P991 with the palace P in front of it by the looks of it. Yeah, look, there you go. <laughs> it's got the P for palace, uh, 991. It's got palace, new balance. It looks um, it looks a little bit squished. You know, it doesn't, uh, maybe it's just me. The spacing on the branding on the tongue there, it looks, it looks a little bit squished. Um, Maybe that's just how I'm viewing it, but that's how it kind of looks. There's nothing wrong with it though, like that's totally fine. I like to see that the palace has been done in like this nice purple embroidery. Looks like we get, are they both ends? It looks like ends here, but I thought one was an N, one was a P, but I, they might just both be ends there. Um, yeah, palace, new balance, 991, nice lace color. Um, is there co-branding on the inner soles? Oh yes, there is. I can just see it there. You can see Palace, and then you can see, pa uh, well, you can see Pal, Ace there, and you can see the New Balance, like, branding has been, like, printed on top of it, which, it, it works. Like, that's totally fine. Um, yeah. Very nice shoe. Very, very nice shoe. Oh, look at that. It's got Pal, Ace on the back. I mean, that's just fun. That's, you know, you can't complain about that. That's just fun. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Anything on the bottom? Any palace branding there? No, lots of ends though for the traction, which I think is always really cool. Now we got the second color. I don't think this one hits as much as the first color, but uh, still very nice. Still very nice. Um, we'll keep pushing through on that one. We got purples, pinks, grays, blacks. The color blocking on it's really nice. The use of color is really nice. Uh, yeah, I can't complain about this. Like this is a very solid palace 991 New Balance collab. Uh, Pal, Ace, we've got, uh, yep, that, that co-branding there and everything, the same as before. It's nice, like, I, I can't fault these. Very nice, very, very nice. Now we get into the collaborative clothing. Uh, again, though, I, I can't beef with this. It's kept so simple, the color blocking's nice, the branding's nice, you know, little hit here, little hit here. Please don't have a huge triferg on the back of it, but I feel like it won't. Um, yeah, I mean, does it showcase the back? Look at that. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Keep it nice. Like, I would have let a tonal one pass. Like, if they did, like, a tonal triferg here, I would have been like, that's okay. But this is even better. This is even better. New Balance Palace on the back there. That's all you need. That is all you need. This is a very nice piece. Yes. Keep it up, Palace. I was worried. You got me worried on the summer 23 season with the lookbook in week one, but this collaboration's already turning me around, so I'm very happy to see this. Okay. Solid. Solid. Nice color options, purple detailing on the zippers and the branding and everything like that. Very nice. I like both of these jackets' colors. I like I'm not normally a guy to wear these type of jackets. But I have to praise these. These are very nice color options. And they work with the shoes, which is a lot of fun. You know, if you're, if you're into streetwear and you love your sneakers, you love it when there's a matching outfit that's being sold alongside with the sneakers. Uh, it's 
awesome to see New Balance do that kind of thing. Like you don't generally see Jordan Brand doing it unless it's like a big release with like Travis Scott or anything like that. So it's nice to see clothing alongside the shoes. Um, from what I know, that's how it was back in the days in the 80s and 90s. So it's fantastic to see. It has had a resurgence over the past like five to 10 years, but I like seeing clothing come along with the shoe. It makes it feel like the shoe is more special with the clothing coming alongside it, you know? At, at least that's how I feel about it anyway. We got collaborative tees. That's what I want to see. Just, you know, nice little hit here and here. Is there anything on the back? Doesn't need to be. I love it. Nice color options. No, again, I, I'm going to say the same things over and over and over again, but nice color options, simple branding, solid, nice, solid. Uh, hmm. I don't know what that's meant to be, but we might have to come back to image 21 because we had an issue there. <laughs> We've got Crunex now. Um, very solid. Very, very solid. Coming in that blue color. Nice. There we go. Nothing. On I'm loving this. Like, thank you for not slapping a huge, disgusting, like, triferg with, like, contrasting colors on the back of it. This is what I want to see. Yes. Yes. Okay, making some assumptions. If it's... If the Crinex are like the t-shirts, then I'm assuming this blank image here is another Crinex to match the um, t-shirt coloring. So probably a lavender one, judging by the colors, but I'll, I'll refresh it and we'll have a look. So we've got the matching uh, shorts to the jacket. Very solid, co-branding, simple branding, no complaints. Nice, nice. Ooh, we got a cap. I like the cap and it's got the P991 on it. That's fun. Nice, solid. Oh yeah, okay. Full palace branding on the uh, on the drawstring there. Nice, and we're back to it. No complaints. This is an awesome Palace New Balance collab. Big thumbs up for me. Um, let's actually just refresh it though, because I just want to check out image twenty one again because it didn't load for whatever reason. I tried to reload it, but apparently it's not working. So maybe that is all that's in the collaboration, or Hype Beast has stuffed up their article in some way, but. How do I feel about this collaboration? No complaints. The color palette, I love what's releasing in it. Everything is just kept really toned down. Maybe a couple of the colors of the pieces are a little bit vibrant, but it's still very nice color choices they've chosen for them. I have no complaints. No, it, it, it's, it's definitely a more of a New Balance collaboration than a Palace one. I feel like there's more New Balance here than Palace. But I'm not complaining about it. I, I, that's totally fine. Maybe I'm just a big fan of New Balance with probably only one pair of New Balances in my whole, in my whole wardrobe. <laughs> and they're not a good pair either. It's like the 625s and a triple black. But like, I love this. The, yeah, I can't complain about it. I, I wouldn't want it to be more Palace. Uh, it doesn't need to be. It's a nice collab. It's a nice collab. Nice colors, nice choice of shoes and uh, clothing pieces. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy here. I'm not going to pick any of it up though, <laughs> but maybe you are, maybe you are. Um, look, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the collab. Which piece do you like the most? Do you like the shoes the most, the clothing? How do you feel? I personally think it's great, but I'd love to have that conversation with you down in that comment section below. Well, that's everything to be covered about this upcoming collaboration, guys. It's either releasing on the 12th on the Friday for most of the world or Japan and China on the 13th on the Saturday. I think it's really solid. I don't have any complaints about it. I think it's nice. Um, it's got me excited again for the summer uh, 23 season because, yeah, as I said, week one and the lookbook have uh, not exactly got me too hyped about it. But this collab has, so that's that's really good. That's really good. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys if you are looking to pick up anything from this collaboration. Are you going for the 991s? Are you going for clothing? What are you feeling? Let me know what you're going to be picking up in the size and color that you're after down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace or New Balance collaborations, you got to give me the three indicators I always ask you, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, a subscribe to the channel. As mentioned in the previous upload, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,640 subs before the end of the month. We're getting close, we're, we're quite close, and you guys absolutely killed it over the weekend. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. 
That's everything I got to say about this Palace New Balance collab for week two of the summer 23 season, guys. I'm a big fan of it. No complaints from me on this one. Uh, yeah, I'd love to have a conversation with you guys about it in the comment section below, and I wish you the best of luck. If you are going for something from the collab, I hope you managed to pick up what you want and the size and color you are after. And until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next New Balance video, until the next Palace video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.